React can render data using HTML tags or components. Components are basically classes in React.js. So the first thing we are looking at is the HTML tags. Now in order to create HTML tag in React.js, we can define it in this pattern. The name of the variable should start with a small letter for HTML tags. So over here we have created div tag and this is the div which we have created. And then we are making use of the render method to render this div inside the div container. So if I run this one in browser, you'll notice the value coming up over here. Inspecting it gives us the value of it, display data via React. Now, in order to create a class, we can simply make use of the create class method provided by React. And over here, you can see that we are creating a courses class. Now note that the name of this variable starts with a capital letter. So for classes or components, the variable name should start with capital letters and for HTML tags, they should start with small letter. Now these components are nothing but functions. So over here you can see that we are making use of the render method to render this particular output. It's just a paragraph tag which is containing an input text box and then the courses that we have created component we are making it we are assigning it by creating one element so here you can again notice this small letter coming up so this is the html tag now you can see it in a similar fashion as we have div over here similarly we have created this it's just that this particular class is created by us whereas div is already built in so in the same fashion we have created this element and then we are making use of the render method to render this element inside this div container so if i now run this one you can see that the course name and the text box is coming up here inside the div container this is the paragraph tag and then we have the span automatically provided by react then input again so this way we can display data using react.js that is either via html tags or by creating our own classes or components now if we want to add certain properties to these classes we can do so just where we are creating it as element here you can specify the name of the property and then that property can be used later in react.js for playing with this particular element that we have created so in order to associate a property to this particular class that we have created or component that we have created we can let's say assign it a value called date over here and then it has to be provided inside an expression so curly braces are there and inside that we can simply say a new date So this way you can define the property and now if I run this one in browser you will notice that coming up because we have not used that property as of now. Now in order to use that property we can do so inside our react class that we have created. So here is the class that we have created and if I want to show the new property value we can do so by writing it like the let's say date is and then to access the property again we will make use of the curly braces we'll say this which will basically point to the class that we are working in and then the property so props is the keyword over here for properties and then the name of the property that we have created so we create a date over here as a property so we'll put that and then dot to string you can give just to show it in a string format so now if I run this in browser you can see that coming over here the property is now accessible so this way in our class we can make use of the properties that we have defined there are a couple of ways using which we can assign attributes or properties to our components or classes that we have created in react.js and one of the ways is you can directly inline the attributes or you can simply create it after you have defined the element so over here we can make use of the course element and then we can say props 
Now after that, the name of the property. So here we had date as the property, and then we can assign a value to this particular property. Over here, let's call it new date and terminate it. So I can remove it now from here. Let's save this and run this in browser. So you can see that time is again, date is again coming over here, time. Now the other way of doing this, let's say we have a couple of more properties to be added. So writing this whole thing every time will monitor us. So what we can do is we'll go back to our plain old JavaScript literal. We'll simply create one, let's say properties JavaScript literal and then we'll come to this properties dot let's say date and assign it a new date over here and once that's done we have assigned the course the set of properties to this course element and now if I run this in browser you can see that date time and everything is coming up properly now so these are the couple of ways using which we can assign attributes as well to our react.js components or classes.